Let's start with sublevels within the atom. So we've looked at the Bohr model of the atom with the protons and neutrons in the nucleus and the electrons in energy levels or shells around the nucleus. Each of the main energy levels can be split into n number of sublevels. n equals 1 has one sublevel, the 1s sublevel. n equals 2 has two sublevels, a 2s and a 2p sublevel. N equals 3 has three sublevels, a 3s, a 3p, and a 3d sublevel. N equals 4 has four sublevels, a 4s, a 4p, a 4d, and a 4f. Next we'll have a look at how many electrons each main energy level can hold. So we'll start with N equals 1. It has a 1s sublevel. It can hold two electrons in the 1s sublevel, so therefore the number of electrons in the energy level equals 2. Moving on to the n equals 2 energy level, it has a 2s, which can hold 2 electrons, and a 2p sublevel. The 2p sublevel can hold 6, so the total number of electrons in the energy level equals 8. Moving on to energy level 3, we have a 3s, a 3p, and a 3d sublevel. The 3s sublevel can hold 2 electrons, the 3p sublevel can hold 6, and the 3d sublevel can hold 10. And that makes a total number of 18 electrons in the n equals 3 energy level. Next is the n equals 4 energy level. It has a 4s, a 4p, a 4d, and a 4f sublevel. The 4s sublevel can hold 2 electrons. The 4p sublevel can hold 6. The 4d sublevel can hold 10, and the 4f sublevel can hold 14 electrons. So that makes a total number of 32 electrons in the n equals 4 energy level.